Hey, bubbling, coming in, crushing this art. So I wanted to come in with a little bit of like a prequel to my previous two videos and talk about um, the whole, right? Because we talked about splitting it, right? But everything um, that we are out of or we find just comes from the moment of experience, with which comes through our circumstance, right? Which does seem like that, circumambulating, circular, in a certain wave, right? Um as any sort of real responsibility is something we constantly like go to and come back from right um and that's just how things are realized right as sort of these cyclical dynamics right so just with that being said th like this whole thing is being played through just us and the reason i just brought that up is to bring up the 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 sort of nature of the portal right and us and the zero right before the zero and the one and how they come together right how we are a being right and this is this one right a me right with everything flowing through right the zero the omega the space right so it's just this i wanted to bring up this first that everything derived before we start even getting to yin and yang right everything just is right um yeah and and that's just uh where it comes from is the basic portal of us right of consciousness of us being in this point in space and time right and that portal in which we are through right in the physical and the flesh so um and all that just comes together right as right now and there's no splitting no differentiation right and it all just is and i want to bring that up because when we're looking at sort of archetypes right and sort of symbolic experiences we have along our spiritual journey at the end of the day it is just a spiritual journey there is no differentiation it was just a journey okay and we start to distinguish all this differentiation and all this hue, right? Um, and separation between color in a way, right? So I just want to bring this up because, um, yeah, it's just an interesting thing to note. Before we even start to note the duality and want to get to know yang and yin symbolism and then the triplicity, which will lead to the elements, right? And so on and so forth, right? One of the first things... Uh, we should stop to know is just ourselves, right? And our space in time, because a lot of what astrology is is symbolic, okay? And symbol sim symbolism works through symbols, which are subjective appearances of like metaphysical psych psychic phenomenon, right? Or just psychic phenomenon, right? So, for example, there's the psychic phenomenon of us being parented, right? And so this is something that has a channel in our mind, right? And it expresses itself to us with certain symbols, right? Whether you think this is, you know, a metaphysical um, being that works through this energy or more just that carved channel within the physical realm of existence, right? But either way, we each have our own experiences with these psychic channels that are created right which comes up as symbols rather than signs because you couldn't say oh this is a motherly image right because what 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 makes one person feel cozy and at home isn't the same to another person right so so that's just why any like it's just getting to know this space because anytime we're learning something symbolic understanding another's perspective is really important to ping everything like that's his perspective that's his perspective that's his perspective right and then we can get a clearer view but we still have to always art through our perspective right or you know maybe you are someone that's more objective i'm not trying to tell you what to do right um, but it's just to realize that we are arting through our perspective and just to connect, right, to the self. Because any time we start dissecting, right, and picking apart pieces, it's just of the moment, right? <clears throat> um, and I just, yeah, I just want to bring that too. Um, it all really just comes from the zero, right, the space, right, that we sort of create into a shape, right? Uh, which is sort of the zero and the one. The one is like the line that's running, running around and the zero is like all the space, right? 
um, sort of in my vision, but it all creates um, those, like, I don't know, I just kind of see those as, like, another duality in itself, but that's besides the point. It's just, before we even start splitting into yang and yin, we just have the here and now, okay? And that's that. <laughs>